Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to build your first Java serverless function using Quarkus Quick Start. You know, many Java developers don't have enough time to stand up their Kubernetes cluster, specifically microservice application development, but also serverless function because they needed to stand up uh, serverless uh, infrastructure as an example. Uh, for Kubernetes, you need to install Knative and also Knative Survey. A lot of configuration you need to install or configure just at the time before you actually develop a serverless function. So in this demo, we're going to bring that up developer sandbox, which a lot of Java developer doesn't spend a lot of time stands up your infrastructure for application deployment, specifically serverless functions. All right, let's get right into the demo, how it works. So first of all, we're going to go to developers.redhead.com and there are developer sandbox menu. When you click on that, uh, you can go to developer sandbox. You can sign up for free and it takes uh, less than 10 minutes. Uh, go to uh, developer sandbox with your own credential. So I already signed up. When you go to developer sandbox with your own account, you can go to uh, open the cluster. As you can see, there are empty project, but two namespaces are already created. So let's go to quick start and then search serverless, and you can find the two serverless. One is really more focused on how to install serverless application and deploy example like a Python application. So we're gonna go through, uh, get started with a Quarkus serverless function for Java developer. When you click on quick start, you can see six different tasks which guide you step by step instruction, how to create new project, also how to develop new function for Java application. And in the end, you're going to deploy this serverless function to approach the cluster on top of the developer sandbox. So let's go through real quick. So when you click on first task, launch code ready workspace, which you already built in the code. Uh, developer sandbox, which is a really great uh, feature of a developer sandbox. So you can have your own uh, Kubernetes cluster. You can also have Kubernetes workspace, the web based ID tool. The interface is really similar to uh, VS Code. Just copy from Giri Part 3 and then paste in Giri for URL and then create and open. It takes a little bit, uh, maybe a few minutes. I'm going to make it pass to the start for the demo. In the reality, it takes maybe uh, two and three minutes to start up. Okay, here's a new workspace, and I already cloned the Giri part from my local in the core ready workspace. The first thing, uh, you can start a uh, quark step mode when you open your terminal window. And then when you click on the plugins, and there are a new terminal, and then just open terminal. And then the first task we already finished, and the second task, we're going to run the quark step mode, which allows developer have live coding capability. Uh, which means whenever you change the code, uh, it automatically apply for your runtime. You don't need to recompile, rebuild, redeploy, restart the application. In the meantime, you can have some pop-up messages just like uh, 8084 open in the file uh, 005 port for the debugging. So when you finish um, the task, you can find the check your work, like a verify your achievement, and then you can check it out yes or no based on your result. And here you go, we have a quark step mode is running and then the message a depth profile activated and live code activated. So that's why we just done with the achievement and I just click on yes. Moving forward to the next task, testing your process serverless function. So when you go to source directory, uh, there are already uh, generated sample application here. So just a hello method. Here's a really interesting part. If you don't have any experience Quark uh, serverless function extension, which is just uh, we can call the funky, you can see funk annotation on top of the hello method, which he, uh, makes your just general method for portable function across multiple serverless platforms, such as Amazon Render, OpenShift as a function, and Google Cloud platform, and on-prem uh, Kubernetes KNIV as well. So I'm going to Open new terminal here to access the endpoint. And then uh, just a local host and hello, the endpoint, which is exactly the same function name as, uh, as the same as the method name here and hello. So I can just, just return welcome Quarkus serverless function on the developer sandbox. Okay, so I'm gonna check my work and verify my result. Uh, I think it's working. In the next task, I'm gonna, we're gonna add a new function here using 
CDI capability, which is supported by Quarkus. I'm going to add a new service in here, uh, just greeting method with some uh, name parameter. And then I'm just go back to resource file and add that new function using CDI injection. So you can see I just used inject annotation to uh, add CDI from my function service. And here's a new function method is greeting with a parameter invoke the new CDI Java beans. So automatically discovery the uh, existing Java beans. I'm going to call that new endpoint for passing down the data like, like a Quarkus function, sublet function. And now I got a new return result, hello Quarkus sublet function. So here is the thing, I just added new function in the meantime, and I didn't even try to recompile, build, and redeploy and restart my runtime and Quarkus application. The Quarkus automatically take care of that kind of in order to process using live coding capability, which is really awesome. So this good capability you can keep using uh, both Microsoft's development but also serverless application. So now we're going to deploy this application to a bunch of the cluster to do that. You can uncomment existing configuration specifically. You can specify your own image group, which is the same as your account name. Here is a DOH, my Daniel, oh, my account name. And you don't have to log in or push it from your core radio space. Or push the web console, provide the login token information. Just to copy and paste from your terminal window and then make sure your core radio space log in the right place. So now I'm going to to run the Maven command line, the packaging thing. This project already includes uh, OpenShift extension by Quarkus, which allows Maven packaging to deploy your application to OpenShift cluster. Okay, I just done with the build successor logo. And then the last task, try to access the function on OpenShift. So when you go back to uh, topology, and then you can see there's one Quarkus serverless function already deployed. Let's try to add a new label to make it show uh, Quarkus logo. And the one interesting part, you can actually add another label, Boston, which means that this is a more function. Represent it to add label, the Boston dev, and slash function true, which allows you have a function part. So this is a maybe distinguished thing. You have a multiple part in the same namespace and you can or explicitly uh, distinguish uh, which part is represent of a less function, what normal function, this a function, label also uh, make you understand which part is function or not. The last step, uh, we're going to try to uh, access endpoint of function running on OpenShift. So the, by default, the function will be scaled down to zero automatically in 30 seconds, unless you have any natural traffic incomes. Uh, just a little bit of power without any natural traffic, it will automatically scale, it down, uh, scale down to zero because we're going to see the function will be scaled up uh, to one, just like a core star uh, is one of the normal behavior of a serverless function. I'm going to ready to code and point here. And then we're going to expect the same result. We're going to run this invocation from local environment. Okay, just go back to topology view and make sure your uh, service function is uh, scaled down to zero. Function is scaled down to zero. And then let's go back to core radio space terminal and then invoke the less than point and the, the part automatically starts just core star strategy it takes just one second to start up and then uh, let's try to access another uh, function it's like a hello endpoint and it will return the same result we got from the local environment just like a welcome uh, i'm going to delete the parameter welcome quarkus serverless function on the developer sandbox. You can see that we have two results here, the developer sand from developer sandbox on OpenShift. And then go to uh, check your achievement and then we got a uh, proper result about the two RESPO API. And once you complete all tasks, you combine the all green colors task, like all checked properly. So today we run uh, how to use Quarkus Quickstart to develop serverless function for Java developers. You don't need to uh, prepare any uh, infrastructure or Kubernetes cluster or ID tool with the local configuration. Thanks for watching. See you next time.